Hello, Homestead, and please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Hello, Homestead. I'm Sam Carroll. And I'm Ryan Nutter. And on today's edition of HHS In-Depth, reporter Alec Pena brings us a story about our first flex day and how it went. Jordan Bussey tells us about the bump in attendance this school year. And a special edition of The Nut House with a new host this week. All that and more on HHS In-Depth for Friday, September 26th. Well, darn Skippy, I got a good spot. Wow, this is weird. <laughs> Where is everyone? <laughs> Carl, what are you doing? You meet him. You're here to learn. It's a flex day! Yeah, I know. Every day's a flex day with me. <laughs> Jeez, it's out there, man. Maybe student services can help me. Hello? 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 Dad? This one's tough. Oh, I'm so hungry. It's noon! Where's lunch? Where are the lunch? Where are the gates down? Hello? Hello? Okay, is there anyone in the building? I don't care who you are, you can even be Ryan Nutter. If you're in the building, please say something. I'm hungry. I just want lunch. I don't even need breakfast, man. If anyone has food, can you bring it? Can you bring it to the bathroom upstairs? We start off today's show by taking a look back at our first flex day of the year. Here's reporter Alec Pena with the story. Homestead experienced its first flex day this past Tuesday. HHS is the only Northeast Indiana school that was given this opportunity to partake in this new initiative. These flex days will help prepare the students for future e-learning days. I think it gives us an opportunity to um, prepare for any inclement weather days. And by that I mean what you saw last year, we were closed for a significant number of days. But this gave us an opportunity to actually practice it. We, gave, we had the assignments uh, online, and the students were able to uh, do those assignments and then turn them in the next day. Fortunately, teachers and students had few difficulties. Personally, I ran into no difficulties on the flex day. I had one or uh, just a minimum number, maybe one or two communications with students, clarified it through email, and so it went very smoothly. Regarding the Homestead High School student body, the opinions of students were evenly mixed. I thought it was kind of rough. You know, some assignments were extremely long to be honest with you, and you know, it seemed that I almost would have rather came to school because it would have been less time overall. I think the teachers were fair in assigning the work and it was, it took a good amount of time. A major concern is a lack of teacher-student communication. I don't know about improvements, but I think one of the questions that many faculty have uh, really has to do with what are the faculty doing during that time. Uh, we are being given additional training, but you have to remind yourself that 
they're taking students away from uh, the teachers and the contact with teachers is very significant and so to remove us from the presence of the students in order to have us do additional training is actually diminishing the um, educational experience of the students. That is of major concern. Administration plans to improve the flex day through student feedback. We're going to have a survey that we're sending out to all the students or as many students as possible. It's really important for the administration to get that feedback from the students uh, and uh, make adjustments. Uh, we, nothing's perfect. Uh, we, we've heard a lot of real positive feedback, uh, but we've heard some things uh, that aren't positive, and we want to make sure that we listen to what the students have to say and the teachers and uh, make improvements. Stay tuned for more information on the next Flex Day on Tuesday, October 21st. For HHS In-Depth, I'm Alec Pena. IPFW's application fee is waived for College Go Week, which ends today. For more information and participating schools, please visit the guidance homepage and follow the links. Juniors and seniors, a representative from the following colleges will be at Homestead to meet with interested students. If you would like to attend a meeting, please sign up in Student Services and get your pass at least one day prior to the visit. Monday, September 29th, Trine and Leona University. Tuesday, September 30th, University of Northwest Ohio, Indiana Tech, Ohio Northern and Albion, and Wednesday, October 1st, Furman University, University of Dayton, Hillsdale College, and Washington University. You may have heard Mr. Ginder make an announcement about how much attendance has improved this school year, but how much better is it? Jordan Bussey is here with the story. I'm Jordan Bussey with some insight on Principal Ginder's views pertaining to tardies and what we can do to improve them. We were down last year from the previous year and then down this year from last year. And that has a lot to do with simple things, just talking about it, news programming like this, simple announcements, tardy sweeps, all those things help remind us that we need to get where we're supposed to be. And that's made, made a big difference. Well, obviously our goal would be to have no tardies at any class. Uh, that's probably a little bit too aggressive because things happen in life and you're going to be late once in a while but right now we're averaging about 33 tardies a day if we could get that down into the 20s or even into the teens it would be incredible over the past few years the administration has implemented a series of policies to improve attendance overall in the student body I think some of you would notice, the older students would notice, our teachers have been really uh, mindful about being in the hallways, reminding students to be on time, talking them through it when the bell rings. The two-minute bell has made some difference, and sometimes you'll hear some even teachers, hey, that's the two-minute bell. So that's been big, and that has made a, a difference. And it's a small cultural thing that has had a big impact. And obviously, we've made a lot of friends with tardy sweeps too, but you'll notice that when we have a tardy sweep, it sends a little bit of a message, and our tardy problem improves for a number of days and I think over over the course of a year plus the tardy sweeps have made a big difference with uh, attendance issues across the board so sometimes it's really the simple things that are just reminders that make a big difference not unlike the police officer who you know is going to be seated or, or parked at the corner well you slow down in the morning if you know he's going to be there. The administration hopes to continue this upward climb for years to come in order to improve student education. For HHS In-Depth, I'm Jordan Bussey. Voting for the freshman class representatives has been tallied. And now here is HHS In-Depth reporter Madison McConaughey with the results. I can't believe I lost the list of freshman student government members. Ms. Hagen's going to kill me. Oh, look, it's the shirt I bought last week in room 600B, the radio room, for $10. It also came in red and purple. Where is it? He's so full of himself. Where is that list? Smells like Carl's gym clothes. <laughs> Freshman student government members, keep away from Madison, from Ryan. Your 2014-2015 freshman representatives are Olivia Ennis, Sydney Adams, Lauren Selking, 
Will Milne, Duhan Aroglu, Kobe Scheiferstein, Pamela Chen, Delina Trin, Susan Chen, and Carly Vaselli. Your officers for the 2014-2015 year are Treasurer Luke Lale, Secretary Panashi Chakava, Vice President Andrew Dykstra, and last but not least, President Elise Wilcox. Congratulations on making student government this year. Students who are interested in learning more about the Indiana University Honors Program in Foreign Language for High School students should attend a short meeting after school Tuesday in Room 611, Senor Peeper's class. We'll talk about the application process and hear from a HHS student who traveled to Chile last summer. HHS students could be eligible to study in France, Germany, Spain, or Chile this summer as part of the IU program. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. A quote from Maya Angelou. All right, Spartans, it's time to lift one another up. All students and teachers are welcome to join the network to create a culture of kindness, compassion, and acceptance here at Homestead. Please join them Monday, September 29th in the art room, 108, after school, 245 to 330. They will be making cards for Project H and planning our video project. Please see Mrs. Jones for more information or join their My Big Campus group for details. And now here's another edition of the Nut House with one major change this week. You know a serving size of mixed nuts is 15 pieces? Yeah, what's up? Ryan, no one cares. I mean, it's kind of funny. Like, it's like the it's Nut not, House, it's, 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 it's not nuts. Funny. It's not funny. All anyone really cares about is the game last Friday. Yeah? Well, yes. uh, I was going to do something else if that's okay with you. No, I got it. Give me the nut house for this week. I mean, no. Give me the nut. Give me the nut house. I. Do I even have a choice? No. Oh, it's fine. Not, fine. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. These are mine. Wait. Can I keep the jacket? No. It's a rule, isn't it? Hey there, Homestead. Luckily, I'm not Ryan Nutter. So this week on the Nut House, we're gonna watch a video that I made of homecoming. I hope you like it. Please follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I need followers. That was good. I like it. I love it, rather.
before we end the nut house this week, we want to wish the girls golf team good luck at regionals tomorrow. They'll be playing at Cobblestone Golf Course at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. If you see Kira Hoffman, Betsy Schroeder, Caitlin Norris, McKenna Hosteller, or Emma Schroeder, be sure to wish them good luck. In for Ryan Nutter this week in the nut house, I'm Carl. That wraps up today's edition of HHS In-Depth. I'm Sam Carroll. And I'm Ryan Nutter. Have a great weekend, Spartans, and we'll see you next week. And as always, we leave you with a song you can only hear on Homestead's radio station, The Point 91 FM.